Mm-hmm. If you just wish you didn't have to say that, you know, they didn't have to emphasize that. There were only two black women. One was from Africa, and uh, and then I was from, you know, Wisconsin. And Angie Brooks decided not to graduate. So when I did graduate, she stayed on. And when I did graduate, I sort of felt like I really wasn't the first one. I got uh, um, elected to the city council, and they had never had a woman and never had a black. And uh, when I had those two things, then I added on the black, the law school thing. March 1st, 200 days and I would come in and they had to wash my hair because there'd be feces they'd throw feces on us and pee and eggs and it was it was my mother was not for it marching you know she said it's not ladylike to be running up the street shouting and hollering you know I said no mom we're not doing that we're, we're sending uh, assigning freedom songs. She still didn't approve, but that's the mother too. I really don't think about it much because when I think about it, it makes me know that I could never have done anything alone. There were so many wonderful people that were a part of whatever I've done that I just never try to think of it as anything special. You know, because I could not have done it alone. I just couldn't have. So I believe that you should have big dreams and set, you know, set your goals really high. Uh, as they say, if you shoot for the moon, if you don't get there, you might hit a star or two on the way up. <laughs>